Alice We're back. has been kidnapped. Alan, What's Alan with? Alice? Let's watch this I can't tell anyone else my home. agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. So we're back. We finished the how first the two episodes. How did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't and know. We're into She's a trap. resourceful. So I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? I don't think it's going to be quick, folks. but Name's Randolph. I'm the daytime, manager. that's good. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, a boat. there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zink. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Limp, oh, limp the way. Limp the way. I'm trying to... Is this not it? This one? No, this is a... What do we got for lunch? Rabbit food, too. Huh? No. Hot dog. Trailer trash dog. You are taking us into a dead end, pal. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week <laughs> earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she's taking us to the dumpster she knew both for. Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Sorry, I'm just wandering around. Just follow me. It's not far. Let's keep going. I can catch up. Trust me. Would this be it? Well, Mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Uh. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. 
Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? She drugged us. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Was that they promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hungover. <clears throat> Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Oh, no, 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 this is not good. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Yeah, yeah. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. <laughs> My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Good, I suppose. Ooh, a radio show. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. And helping. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Pick up this thermos instead. I didn't want to hear all of Walt's problems. Randolph, huh?
Where's the baby crying? Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicole. Of anything. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Make it easy! Get after him! Don't let him get away! Move it! Move it! Move it! Running away from help and lights. Can't believe it. What's going on? Yeah, okay. Alright, that little compass marker is useless. I uh, just need to try to stay away from the lights. I don't know if there's a certain destination I'm supposed to be getting at. Probably. The kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Make it easy! Don't let him get away! Move it! Move it! Move it! There must be something that I missed here, somewhere. A tunnel or some place for me to go and crawl into. Place to hide. over there. He's gone! Come on, guys! We need to head him off! <laughs> you have enough energy to read it? For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Great, now this kind of shit happens and I have nothing, I don't even have light.
Well, at least she's sticking up for me, kinda. A checkpoint. And a good place to save. I always like saving right in the light at the end of these episodes. <clears throat> I want to keep them shorter to like the 16 minute mark like this one is, so... Hopefully you enjoyed my little chase away from the cops and we found a bit more about uh, the story and who's behind making us write all these things. So if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description. And until next time, I'm Ole AK Chuck One and we'll see you again soon.